When Prince Harry was young, he struggled to adjust to the public's interest in his life due to his spot in the line of succession to the British throne. Although he tried to act like a regular person, he often found himself at the center of various scandals. During some of the Duke of Sussex's lowest points, Prince Charles reportedly taunted his son with constant reminders about his place in the royal family. In a resurfaced ITV interview, Harry revealed Charles wouldn't let him forget he was different from everyone else. I am not normal. Much as I'd like to be normal, I am not normal, and my father reminds me of it the whole time, he said. Despite his and Prince William's attempts to blend in with others, Prince Harry revealed negative forces were working against them. William and I can't be normal, but we grew up in the year 2000, he explained. We are part of the royal family, but we've grown up surrounded by all our friends, it's completely different to what other generations have been like. I've tried, we've both tried to be as normal as we can. Unfortunately, Harry was photographed during questionable moments that resulted in him earning a bad reputation. I think the British media and all sorts of other media try to focus on the fact that I am a playboy, I am a party prince, all that sort of stuff, which I am not, he insisted. I'm a teenager who goes out and has fun and no matter what time I come out of a club, they are going to write that it was 4 o'clock in the morning, there's nothing I can do about that. During his 20s, Prince Harry was able to live a normal life thanks to his career in the military. However, his ties to the royal family made him a target and endangered the lives of his fellow soldiers. Since Harry was unable to continue his career serving on the front lines, he became a full-time royal. Although he remains passionate about his days in this service, Prince Harry now divides his time between his royal commitments, and quality time with his wife, Meghan Markle, and their baby, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor. Back in his younger days, Prince Harry was no stranger to controversy. This has earned him the moniker the party prince because of the constant scrapes that the younger prince found himself in. Because of his parents' divorce, it became public knowledge that his relationship with his father Prince Charles became less than ideal. Royal biographer Penny Juner, in her book The Duchess, claimed that Prince Harry's resentment of his father came to a head during an incident in 2002 where Prince Charles took the credit for sending him to rehab in South London to improve his image, Express UK reported. According to the author, it was in 2002 when 16-year-old Prince Harry was found drinking in a village pub in Highgrove and smoking marijuana when it was reported that Prince Charles stepped in to provide his son with a short sharp shock. It was confirmed by Junior that Prince Harry had visited a rehabilitation facility but not in the company of his father. The prince reportedly resented that he was being used by his father to look good to the public and that all the blame for his party-going lifestyle fell on his good friend Guy Pilly. The incident also resulted in the first major rift between Prince Harry and Prince William as the younger brother felt he was taking all the brunt of the negative publicity while William was being let off easy for his conduct. In fairness to Prince William, who also attended the party at Highgrove, Royal biographer Katie Nichols said that William also felt bad that Harry took all the blame while he came out of the incident scot-free. That was the first time the brothers fell out because Harry resented the fact that he had taken all the blame, but of course William was the heir. Harry took the flack, and Harry was very cross about that. He refused to speak to his brother or forgive him for some time, she said. The brothers eventually made up because Prince Harry realized that it was not Prince William's fault how the incident was handled, but it took a while for the brothers to reconcile. The 2002 incident, where Prince Harry was left off with only a police warning, was among the biggest royal scandals that the palace had to deal with at the time and it was even reported that Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II despaired when they learned of the news. Given all the things that Prince William and Prince Harry have been through and given that they were teenagers, Nicol said that it was remarkable that the prince only acted out to such extent. 